Relief to be home, for sure. Battalion Chief Joe Tone is back with Cowlitz 2 Fire and Rescue after spending about a week on Hawaii's Big Island. The first part that amazed me was the, the cracks that were just opening up. Some just the width of a pencil. Others significantly bigger. Safe to say, Tone saw plenty while assisting the Hawaiians. If he wasn't mapping the lava-devastated neighborhoods from above, as seen in this video, Tone was on the ground rescuing citizens trapped by Kilauea's fury. So we had to go get a guy that um, was, was overcome by sulfur dioxide and was trapped behind where a lava flow had started. It was coming up out of the ground and it started running across the road. Tone says the lava he saw shooting out of the ground sometimes went as high as 25 feet. We were wearing, you know, gas masks because the parts per million were, were too high. Sounds unbelievable, really. But if anyone can relate with Tone, it's his own fire chief, Dave LaFay, who was also on the week-long trip. I would use the term, we were anxious, had some anxiety, I think, just because of the nature of the problem. Chief LaFave helped enforce and maintain the evacuation zones and monitor the air quality around Kilauea. Nature's power is incredible. And I certainly am not inclined to underestimate what it can possibly do. Nor is Joe Tone, who may be back home in Washington, but his mind is on the Big Island. I'm curious, you know, haven't been involved in it. I'm curious as to what things look like right now down there. Yeah, both Tone and LaFave say their Hawaiian cohorts were gracious and humbled by their help. In fact, they want them to come back for a second trip, but LaFave and Tone can't commit to anything right now. They say there's just too much going on in the Cowlitz County area. Laurel, back to you.